da 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 Are you curious about experimenting with electronics, but the fear of electric shock or soldering iron burns keep you away? Why not try squishy circuits? With a special recipe of food-safe, kitchen-made, pliable dough developed at the University of Saint Thomas, kids can easily use their hands to mold their very own simple circuits right before your eyes. Let's go! For this build, we will be mixing up two different types of dough and then experimenting. For the dough, we will need deionized or distilled water. Tap water is okay if you don't have any. Flour, salt, sugar, vegetable oil, cream of tartar or lemon juice to substitute, food coloring, and last but not least, some measuring cups and a medium-sized pot to mix it all up in. For basic experimentation, you will need six-volt battery pack or nine-volt battery, LEDs, buzzer. Toy motor, or head over to the maker shed and get the squishy circus kit. Perfect for classrooms, it's got everything you need to start experimenting with squishy circuitry. First, let's make the conductive dough. Get out your medium-sized pot and add in your ingredients: a half cup of tap water, a half cup of flour, two tablespoons of salt, one and a half tablespoons of cream of tartar. Or four and a half tablespoons of lemon juice to substitute, half teaspoon of vegetable oil, and last but not least, some food coloring. Coloring the dough isn't required, but it really helps to ensure it doesn't get confused with our insulator dough. Once it's all in, mix it right up. Put the pot over medium heat, constantly stirring. It won't be long before it gets thicker and thicker, eventually turning into a big lumpy ball. Turn off the heat and get yourself a big flat surface sprinkled with about one fourth cup of flour. Then pour out your big lumpy ball. Careful, it's hot. And start carefully rolling and kneading the dough around the flour until it's the right consistency. And that's it. Now you've got your very own conductive dough. Now for the insulating dough. Get out a large bowl and pour in half cup of flour, quarter cup of sugar. One and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. Mix it all together. Then pour in the distilled water one tablespoon at a time, mixing it in fully before adding another one. Keep adding until your mix looks sticky and doughy like this. Then take it out and, like before, roll it around on a flour-coated surface until it's the right consistency. Now to experiment. But what's a circuit? What is electricity? Da 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 da. Now it's time for SmartBot's Thinking Lab, where we try to explain how things work. Electricity is all around us, all because of atoms and their charges. Here's our friend, the atom. Hi. He's the simplest form of any element, and he's super important. Whoa. Atoms are made up of protons Ooh, and neutrons in the nucleus, <laughs> surrounded by whizzing and whirring shells of negatively charged electrons. Wow. With most metals, Ooh. like our friend copper here, their outer electrons are loose hey, and copper. easily shared between each other. Electrons? These free yeah. electrons make them great electrical conductors, hey. passing the charge from one atom to the next. With other elements like old curmudgeon oxygen, they don't like to share their electrons much, making them great electric insulators, keeping any charge from moving freely to other atoms. Get off my lawn! Hey, fine. Fragging copper atoms and their free electrons. To make the passage of electrical charge do some work for us, we use a circuit. First, we need a battery. I'm battery. The electrons want to flow from the negative to the positive terminal, but they have no way to do it on their own through the air. Once we add long strings of conductive elements, wires, or a salty conductive dough, we can help them get there. Include a resistor and an LED, and our circuit is complete. In every circuit, you have three basic things. Voltage, measured in volts, is like the pressure for the electrons to move out of the battery. Resistance, measured in ohms, is whatever impedes, slows down the flow of electricity through something, lowering the effective voltage. 
current, measured in amps, is the measurement of the actual power moving through a circuit in a given time. To see it, you need both voltage and resistance in a complete circuit. The relationship is called Ohm's Law, something we'll have to talk more about in another show. Now, to experiment. But first, a few rules. Never touch your battery's leads directly up to each other. That would cause a short and could damage the battery. Also, never hook an LED directly up to the battery. It will go pop and never work again. First, try just rolling up two bits of dough and attaching the battery leads to them. Then connect an LED. As long as the polarity is correct, you've got light. Try a buzzer and a motor too. Notice if the dough touches the other piece of dough, the light goes out. Electricity will always take the path of least resistance. If it can get where it wants to go without turning on the light, it will. Now try making a big donut of conductive dough, then a small one of insulating dough, then one center squidge of conductive dough in the middle. With your battery hooked up to the center and the outside, you can plug in your LEDs in a circle or experiment with series versus parallel circuits. When you're done, clean off any contacts with warm water and store your dough in airtight plastic baggies to keep for up to two weeks. That's all we got for this episode. Remember to have fun, never stop learning, and get out there and make something. Dragon, cover atoms and their free electrons.